Hello everyone, thank you for watching Mad Trucks with Marcos. Today we are here at our cutest country of Woodstock, Illinois location. Beautiful Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store that's currently under a remodel uh, and we're super excited to see it once it's done. Today we're going to check out two beautiful 2020 SCA Ram uh, half tons. Uh, gorgeous trucks, very similar but a little different in their own ways, so we're going to go ahead and check them out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, please like this video so we can continue to do more awesome videos. And you can check out any of our custom inventory at kinoscountrytrucks.com. All right, you guys, so we are going to check these trucks out. Um, right off the bat, I'm gonna point out some of the similarities. Uh, and then we'll talk about some of the differences, but both of these trucks did start off as a Bighorn package. And the Bighorn package is a great starting platform when you're gonna modify a truck because you really get a lot of really nice features um, without ridiculously breaking the bank because a fully loaded truck nowadays is 70 grand before you do any of your own stuff to it. Um, so it is nice to have a Bighorn package where you can get some nice luxury features, uh, but still have a cloth seat, which some people still prefer cloth seat. These in particular have been up, upgraded to a custom leather. So if we were gonna do a custom leather, uh, why would we pay extra for the factory's leather? So uh, that's where a Bighorn package really comes in handy. Um, you can still get blind spot monitoring and a panoramic sunroof, stuff like that, um, that previously you wouldn't have been able to get like on an SLT truck. Um, or even some of the older Bighorns, uh, you really couldn't upgrade them that much. So really nice to see that. Um, they both have SCA's Black Widow package on it, um, which for the most part, it's gonna be a six inch lift. Six inch lift is really, really nice on these because uh, they're developed uh, specifically for SCA. And um, when you do something like that, they can say, hey, we're gonna do a, I believe this is a 37, yeah, 37, 12 and a half on a 20 on this one. Um, and then it's a uh, 37 uh, on a 22 over on that one. But the nice thing about that is these trucks ride really great because they weren't made to have a huge range uh, as far as uh, sizes for wheels and tires. It was made to have basically this specific one. Uh, so really nice to have that there. Um, if you haven't got to drive one of the, uh, a truck that's been built by SCA Performance, you really need to do so because uh, it's exactly what you'd imagine if uh, one of the factories, so if Chrysler built a lifted truck right from the factory, that's basically what you're getting. And um, you really should feel the difference as opposed to just like a regular truck that was thrown together um, by some enthusiasts. Nothing wrong with you know dealers trying to put their own stuff together, but at the same time, uh, there's a big amount of responsibility that comes along with that. Um, and SCA has been doing a great job for a very long time. Um, on this truck, one thing that I really like is uh, the two-tone paint. Uh, so it is like a black granite or brilliant black metallic on the top, and then it's got the white on the bottom. Um, it just, it kind of gives it a unique look. It's really not, uh, it's not like a huge difference, but just enough to kind of set it off a little bit. I think that is uh, one of the, probably the best features of a truck most subtle. You almost don't even notice it right away when you see it driving by, it just kind of looks cool. Um, I do love the uh, hood, hood vents that they're doing in the, the Rams. Uh, really nice, good placement, good size. It's got a great look on it. Um, so I do think that's also a really nice feature that SCA Performance has uh, put on it. Um, while we're here, let's just take a peek at the inside. I did mention that it has the custom leather interior. So again, this is a Bighorn package. So it would have came from the factory with cloth seats. And as you can see, they upgraded it to a really nice leather. It's very soft to the touch, very comfortable. And uh, it has some really cool stitching going on with the embroidered Black Widow and the headrest, uh, which is also really cool to have. And then that panoramic sunroof, again, um, you would think this truck was maybe like a, a Laramie or a Limited just because it has the big sunroof, the nice seats, um, you know, all the stuff, the blind spot monitoring, all the stuff that you would expect to see on one of the higher end trucks, you get it right in the Bighorn. And um, it's also nice because instead of paying the extra eight grand for the Limited um, or the Laramie, uh, you can pay the extra eight grand and, and have some cool stuff done to it that you'd rather have um, than some wood trim or whatever they're gonna give you. It's a good sounding Mustang. Um, power running boards, these are the Amp Research Power Running Boards. Really great. When they're up, they're pretty much hidden. Uh, and then when they're down, they come down pretty far and uh, make it pretty easy to just be able to walk up into one of these. Um, no real issues, which is great. Um, so let's talk about some differences. 20-inch uh, wheel on a 37-inch tire. Uh, this is the BF Goodridge Mud Terrain uh, KM3. 
great, great tire. Uh, you've heard me talk about it before, and I really do believe it is probably the best mud tire that you can spend your money on. As far as uh, putting on something that you're either gonna drive every day or it's gonna see a good amount of road use, um, it's a really good combination of street legal, good tire, um, but also does have some good off-road um, characteristics to it. Uh, so I do like that. And everyone's different. Uh, this, I do really think, has a nice look with the 20 inch wheel because you get a little bit more sidewall, um, which is nice when you're off-roading. But at the same time, we all know that, I mean, most of these trucks, they're not gonna get like really heavily off-roaded. This might be the truck that pulls the TJ to the off-road course, um, but it's probably not gonna be the one that goes through the off-road course fully. Um, some people like it for the look, some people like, we have contractors that buy them and um, they're basically off-road all the time. It's not like they're going over obstacles, but they still have different stuff that they encounter and they still have to be able to get through or pull a trailer through. Um, so it is really nice. I do also like the black grill on this truck being all white, that black grill really pops off. As far as on the black truck, it really just has that clean, sleek look. Um, they both have the riveted fender flares, uh, which is great. Um, on this truck, on both of these trucks, it basically gives you coverage to where the wheels and tires come out. So on this one, you can see on the 22 inch wheel, um, you have a lot less uh, sidewall. Oh, you know what? And so these are actually a 35 by 12 and a half on a 22. So aside from the fact that you're getting less sidewall from the wheel, it's also a smaller tire. I'm gonna imagine it has to do uh, with the spec of the wheel. So it depends on what the offset and the back spacing is. Um, on this particular tire, they might have had to cut, you know, cut a bunch of stuff to make a 37 fit with this particular backspacing. Um, but it looks like a really wide wheel. It looks like a 22 by 12 probably um, is the width of the wheel. So I imagine it's got like a negative 44 uh, or something like that offset. So if you do that 22 to get that look, it looks like you got to do a smaller tire. But they do this, guys, because they want you want to be able to hop in this, crank the steering wheel all the way, not have any rub not have any weird feel in the transfer case um, and a lot of its durability so you're going a wider wheel uh, putting more wear and stuff maybe keeping that to a 35 inch tire is going to really help you out in the long run uh, for the folks that don't like the power running boards um, and you know one of the downsides of the power running boards and i don't want to call it a downside it's just something you have to you have to uh, keep in mind is um you know especially over winters and stuff like that if you're in an area that has winters power running boards you need to power wash them you need to lube them up and um, the fixed running boards they're pretty much there uh, it's hard for one of them to malfunction. Uh, you're going to be able to uh, basically use it as you want uh, for the whole entirety of the vehicle. Because it's fixed, there's not really anything to go wrong. I do like on the fixed running board how you get the extra step back here. A lot of times you end up throwing stuff in the bed um, right in that corner. It is nice to be able to step up over that. Um, but as far as the interior, um, this one is very similar. It does not have the panoramic sunroof. However, it does have the 12-inch screen. So those are options in the uh, in the Bighorn. So for the people that don't like the sunroof, um, you can get them without sunroof and then having that 12 inch screen. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. That's probably why we have one of each. Um, even the standard stereo is really, really great. Um, but it is kind of a cool uh, feature to be able to have basically a tablet in your center console, which is nice. These also have the molded uh, mud flap, or um, not mud flaps, um, floor mats uh, right from Mopar, which is nice basically like a weather tech style floor mat uh, right from the factory. Um, moving around to the back. Um, so both of these trucks do have an exhaust. We will get you an exhaust clip, um, but they both sound good. Both have a really good look. The Rams already have the dual exhaust coming out the back. So it really fits in nicely and looks like a stock look. Um, but these are both blacked out. Uh, like it's like a black chrome exhaust tip on both of these and it looks great. And then one other thing, if uh, I could talk about it, would be, so they do uh, caliper covers on these. So I'm sure people are thinking, man, why would you do a caliper cover on something like that? If you're not gonna upgrade the brakes, why would you even put that on there? Uh, but there is an actual reason, and the reason is it helps with dust. So that brake dust can really damage a wheel over time when that brake, if you can imagine how much friction is making this vehicle stop, that brake dust comes off there and it's basically hot as it can be. And it'll actually eat right through the clear coat that's on the wheels and it'll make them look uh, really, really junky, really, really fast. So it is nice to have that caliper cover on there just to keep that dust as much of it as possible in there and keep this truck looking as good as possible for as long as we can. Uh, so these are, uh, both, like I said, both 2020s. They have a ton of rebates right now. I know the manufacturers have 0% going on and big rebates and helping people get financed. 
all kinds of amazing stuff's going on right now. So this is again at our cutest country of Woodstock location here in Woodstock, Illinois. Uh, great people. We have a huge selection of custom stuff. The new stuff, they have a ton of custom stuff. They also have a ton of used custom stuff. So give us uh, someone here on our team a call and we will definitely get you taken care of. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.